I've been playing so much 2K18 since launch. Literally all I've been doing is 2K18, edit, sleep, wake up, eat 2K, repeat. This video, I'm gonna be explaining the best way to spend 200K VC, but before we get into that, first of all, subscribe to the channel. Second of all, people love tweeting me when stuff goes down, so I wanna warn you guys that there's been a decent amount of people tweeting me saying, agent, my player has been deleted. So if you know you're not gonna spend more than like one player's worth of VC on your character, it makes a lot of sense to wait if you haven't already spent the VC. All right, so we're gonna get into it. There's a super safe way you need to do this. So as you guys know, we head up into the attributes. By the way, pure sharpshooter. This is my second build. I made a play shooter with playmaker with a sharpshooter. And I was like, nah, I need to try out these sharpshooters. I heard they had some lit attributes. Now, as you know, you can really just Go like this, and you can upgrade everything this year. Like, you're not gonna miss out on anything. You can go all the way up on everything, but if you're trying to be smart with the way you're spending your VC, it doesn't make total sense. Here's what you should do. Max out the stuff you know for 100% fact that you're gonna have maxed out. So for me, it's mid-range, three-point. We're gonna get ball handling in there. We're gonna get speed in there, and we're gonna get acceleration in there. Because you can't see the attributes as you're upgrading them. I don't know on my three-pointer if it's gonna be a 99 or a 92. I'm not sure on my ball handling if it's gonna be a 70 or it's gonna be a 65. You have no idea. So the safe way is, is if you're not sh entirely sure about a build, choose the stuff you know you can't live without that you wanna see the attributes for and check those out. So it's just a way to save some VC, just to be cautious with the way you're spending it. We're gonna get back to upgrading, but first we need to do something. Hey, check it out. My guy looking fresh. Hold up. Okay, I'm a 70 overall now. <laughs> You went super sane. So this is just a safe way to make sure that you're not spending VC on a character that's gonna end up being trash. Now you can be super safe and just choose a build that you don't care whether or not it's gonna be elite. You just wanna have fun with. For example, a pure slasher. You can't go wrong with that. It might not be the most dominant build, but yo, the amount of dunks I've been seeing, the contact dunks especially, it looks crazy. So if you're gonna play a super safe, I recommend going with a fun instead of elite build because if you're gonna go for an elite build, you should do this. Now you can hop into a micro, go into box scores, or we found an easier way, just go to league stats, go to minutes, boom, scroll down to your player, click R3, and it'll show the attributes you can scroll through and eventually you'll get to attributes. And now you can see the max for the stuff that you've upgraded because you can't do this anymore for whatever reason. Can we talk about that? On the attribute screen itself. So an off dribble mid range 83, open shot three of a 96. And keep in mind that as we're looking at these attributes, they're not completely maxed out. So you see the yellow, we can increase the yellow, but the white is the cap. So really for the three point shot, we have reached max. For the mid range, we still have two attribute points that could mean a plus three or a plus four to those specific attributes. We still don't know. So this is just the way that I'm doing it because if I increase my three point shot on a pure sharpshooter and it's an 88 open shot three, I know I'm not gonna spend money on this build anymore. Unless you're just balling out and you don't care how much money you spend, this is the way everybody should do it. If you increase your core competencies and you realize they're not even worth it, the same way I do with my Playmaker Sharpshooter, I realize, yo, yeah, well, I don't really mess with the three point shot. So as we scroll through these some more, off dribble three of a 97, contested shot three of a 99, that's crazy. But the one I was looking for is ball control, the reason I did this. So once you pass a 70 ball control, you have the elite dribble moves. Once you pass 90 ball control, you have the, the more elite dribble moves. So it's like a, a third tier. Now most of you guys already know that, so I'm finding out now that until I upgrade my player on his ball control, and if we see how much spots do we have left for ball control, we have four spots. So we're gonna end up passing over 70. But until I upgrade those ball handling attributes for my player, I no longer have the elite dribble. Move. And so that's the type of stuff that's gonna make a massive difference when you're making your player. If you don't have the elite dribble moves and you're a sharpshooter, it's game, set, match, jump, but we know since we have four spots, I'm eventually gonna get there. I just don't start with it. So once you do that, if you realize, if you don't care and you're fine with your player, just push everything to the top. So, you know, this year, uh, for whatever reason, 2K chooses what caps increase. You no longer choose what caps increase, which sucks because I don't know when I'm gonna get my next ball handling increase, right? When I was playing on my Playmaker Sharpshooter, luckily, three-point shooting was the first thing that improved for me. Speed, ball handling, literally all the stuff I wanted was the first thing, but you can't guarantee that that's gonna be the same case for you. There's gonna be some people where it might be four or five overalls before you see the cap that you're looking for finally upgraded max. And some of y'all is gonna be like a 98, a 99 if you just have awful luck. So the devs are saying there's a method to the madness, but if you think about it, how do you quantify lateral quickness? They're saying that the more you use something, the more likely it is that that's the cap that's gonna increase, but how do you quantify vertical? The amount of times you click triangle? Like some of this stuff, it just doesn't necessarily make sense to me. 
So we're gonna add the remaining 66k. And uh, you all know I, I had to buy VC for this. All right, I can't. I need to find the world's greatest jump shots. And I think we unlocked the jump shot credit at 75 overall, right? Yeah. And I'm on a grind. I'm just trying to learn as much as I can about the game because that's literally my job at the moment. So, yo, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. If I was you and you're planning on making multiple builds, go with the fun build first. I know y'all thinking, Agent, I want to dominate at launch, but we don't know anything yet. I might have just upgraded a build that we're gonna find out later. Would have been better off if I've done minimum wingspan. I might find out a little bit later that this player doesn't have a gold tireless score like I thought it did. So there's so much stuff we don't know yet. It's very difficult to play it safe because this year as you're upgrading, you can no longer see the attribute. So some of y'all gonna make a build that you regret and you might've watched this video too late, whatever the reason is, but I mean, this is just the way I'm doing it. This is the way I'm playing safe. At the end of the day, you end up maxing everything out. It's just about being cautious so you're not burning money that you on a player that you never end up using. Anyway, I'm gonna start grinding on this pure sharp. I have a few bronze badges already on my playmaker sharpshooter, but I think this is gonna be my main. So I'm gonna go ham. Hopefully I can learn the quickest ways to get some of these badges. I'm gonna drop videos. If you guys wanna see more tutorials, I'm gonna be doing all sorts of stuff to find the fastest way to do things, the best way, the most efficient way, all types of stuff, all right? So if you enjoy, drop a like. and let me know you guys wanna see more types of these videos. I'm gonna catch you guys later. I have some 2K to play. I might be streaming later tonight. Just subscribe if you guys are new, all right? We're doing everything here. I'm out. Peace.